Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today I will make I create a new series on how to script on Roblox Studio because a lot of you requested this as you can see on the screen right now. Uh, I made a poll on my Discord server and a lot of you voted for uh, the How to Script series. So I'm doing it today uh, and today's episode is going to be, well, episode 1 and it will talk about uh, printing. Uh, but yeah, if you like this video, make sure to like it and uh, if you like my channel then go ahead and subscribe because it helps a lot and at 10k subscribers i will make a special event i don't know yet but yeah i'll do something special like uh for example like a a, a giveaway or like a model giveaway or a, a game giveaway like I'll, I'll give away my my clicking simulator series file uh for you guys if we hit uh 10k um also good news i finally finished my exam so I have way more time to make videos and it will be way more active uh, so yeah let's start a video um, oh yeah, also join my discord server if you wanna talk with me talk with uh, people of my server and get help uh, if you need help for any code uh, but yeah let's start a video so uh, today is the printing episode. I will show you how to print and what it does uh, And also what it means so uh, Let's start off with inserting a script uh, inside the workspace because this is where I will uh, Make all the scripts now you can put it in start a script so uh, service script service sorry which is a service uh, where all the scripts are located um, if you're making a script, or uh, yeah, if you're making a normal script or a server script, uh, not a local script, uh, local script by the way is uh, the client side, so it is only the player and the server is every player in the server. Uh, if you uh, if you're making a script or normal script, make sure to put in put it in a starter script service. Uh, this this is where it should be located. Anyway, let's, uh, we actually don't really need to, uh, yes, let's name the script to, like, printing, uh, and then in the next episodes, I will duplicate the script, uh, and I'm gonna rename it to, like, the name of the episode, like, variables and stuff, uh, so yeah, uh, let's start, so, uh, what, what is, what is printing, what, what does it mean? Uh, so here if you go to the view tab and go to output uh, You can see there you can see that the window is popping, right? Uh, uh, when you have this window Basically what it does is when you play the game. This is where all the informations uh, Or errors of your scripts like if you have an error in your script, that's where it will show uh, if you have any warnings, uh, information, I'm gonna show you how to warn too. Uh, it's basically the same as printing, but the text is orange instead of uh, white. Uh, information, system, log. Uh, system, well, it's not really important. Uh, system is like, well, this is a system, uh, but I usually hide that. And the log is all the prints. So yeah. Um, so to print something, um, you need to do print without a, uh, capital P, and then, um, uh, parentheses, and then whatever you want to print. Uh, if you want to print a string, which a string is basically a value with, uh, quotes, so like, uh, local string is equal to, and then, put, uh, quotes. And inside of quotes, uh, this is the text that we will print. For example, hello. Uh, and if you actually put this uh, right on top here, and if you do print string, uh, string like so, this should be the exact same name as the variable, of course. Uh, this is a variable, by the way. We'll see that 
I will see that more in the next episode, which is episode 2. I will look at that. Uh, uh, we'll look at that, I guess. Um, so let's click play. And as you can see in the output, it says hello. And it says that it got printed by the server. Because the script is a server script. Uh, and then it says where the print has. Uh, where. Look, what's the line of the print? So if you click stop, as you can see, it is line 3. And it says line 3. That is where uh, we print it. Um, you can also print a number. So uh, local number is equal to 10. And if you do print number, click play, and it will it will uh, print the uh, the it will print the number uh, because we set the number to ten. Uh, also, uh, whenever you start a variable, make sure to put local, okay? Local, and then the number, uh, the name of your uh, variable. So like my variable equals and whatever you want. So it can be number, it can be a bool value. Uh, um, it can be well a string, it can be uh, whatever. So yeah, that is how you make a variable. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much uh, what printing does. Um, and printing is pretty useful actually. Um, it is pretty useful to check where uh, the the error in your code is. Or, uh, like how to locate the error. For example, if you have a little code here, so like I don't know, we'll, uh, we'll create a function, uh, function, uh, print something. Boom! You have a little function here, and inside the function, we'll do something. So like uh, um, from here. There is no errors, and then if we if we then print another thing, but we do like a typo, for example, if you do an error, as you can see, there is a uh, a line under the print. Uh, that means it is uh, uh, there is an error, uh, or it, that means it's not correctly spelled. Uh, like if you do this, it will not work. Of course, you need to do like this. Uh, so yeah, if you do a typo, um, there you go, just like this, uh, on purpose. Uh, and we do um, here. There is an error, so the rest of the code won't work. So uh, if you do another print here uh, without an error, so. Hello. Um, this line will not run, uh, so it will not print hello because right above it there is an error. Uh, if there is an error in your code, the rest of the code won't work. Uh, so here that will work. Here there is an error, so this one will not work. And if you do another one, uh, this one will not work either because there is an error here, as I said earlier. Um, but if we do this though, everything is gonna print because there's no typo now. Uh, so yeah, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the function of uh, printing. It's pretty useful. I uh, a lot of developers uh, use this uh, because encoding is very useful, as I said. And yeah, that's pretty much um, what printing is. Uh, also, I will explain what a bool is. A uh, bool. Uh, it can be false or true. Um, basically, for example, if you're setting something to uh, to, uh, for example, like the visibility to true or false, then that's what you what that's what you're gonna use. Um, um, let's actually look at the variables a little bit in this episode, and then in the next episode, I will show you how to use them. So. Uh, let's uh, do that. Uh, actually, no. Let's let's uh, let's start a new script to be more organized. So that's the printing script, and this one will be the variables. Variables. There we go. So 
A variable can be used in different things. Uh, it can be used to define something in like the workspace, for example. Uh, this right here, the big block here, uh, the, it's actually the default block. So it, uh, when you launch a new project on Roblox Studio, you will have this. Uh, or if the project is a base play, then you have this. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, so that's that's called the base plate. That's called the base plate. And if you want to, for example, define the base plate in your code, um, you can do local my base plate. I'm gonna put my base plate so you can you, so you know that uh, you can customize that name, of course. Um, uh, and then a game dot workspace dot base plate. Okay, this defines the base plate. Uh, also, to be um, a little faster, instead instead of doing uh, game the workspace, you can do workspace. But instead of a capital W, just do a small W, and it will do that. Uh, and it's it's a little faster, as you can see, it's shortened. So that's how you define an object. Uh, of course, if you add a part by clicking this button right here, uh, let's call it my part. And if you want to define it in your code, it's pretty simple. You guessed it. My part equals workspace on my part. Uh, little tip: um, if you're defining something, uh, always use wait for child. Wait for child is a function um, that reloads or it waits until the the object has been loaded, so it doesn't cause any errors. Uh, because sometimes uh, it can happen, it's pretty rare, but it can happen uh, that you're defining the object, and since it didn't like when when uh, when it defined it, the object it wasn't loaded yet, uh, and it made it made it not work. So always use with child. Uh, so it's pretty simple. I'm just gotta do colon with for child. Uh, it's spelled like this: capital U, uh, W, capital uh, F, and capital C. And then in quotes, my part. So that's the same as workspace dot my part, but it's safer. Um, so yeah, I personally I always do wave shout. I never do uh, my part equals workspace dot my part. I, I I actually don't. I never almost. Uh, I wholly never do this. I always do wave shout because uh, it's very very useful uh, so now what we can do with this variable that we created is that we can change for example the color of this part like the brick color or uh, or I don't know the material like uh, force field or uh, neon or uh, wood or wood planks uh, there's a bunch of materials here uh, if you do not have this properties panel it's pretty simple we gotta go in a view and then you have the explorer and properties okay that's how you get those uh, windows uh, the main windows that you use to develop a game of course uh, without them you cannot do you cannot really do anything to be honest uh, but yeah always have those um, so to change this from a script uh, for example if we run the game with a gray part and in the code we make it um, to brick color uh, is equal to and then the name of the brick color um, to change the brick color of a part or uh, with an object you need to do br uh, my part dot brick color or the object dot brick color is equal to brick color dot nil so you're creating a new brick color uh, and then in uh, quotes you can type the name of the color there's a bunch of them that you can choose as you can see here uh, you can see uh, I think you can see it can you see it in the recording I don't I'm, I'm not sure but uh, yeah basically you have a small window when you type and there's the names of all the colors if I choose a color and I click enter, it will uh, write it for me. Uh, for example, if I want bright red, boom, and there you go. So now if I run the game, 
Uh, you don't need to play it, you can just do run. Um, so you don't have to actually go in the game. As you can see, it is now red. And I did not change it, the code changed it for me. Uh, if I go back in the code and I do, for example, yellow. Uh, yellow flip flop, okay. <laughs> Uh, run and then there you go. You have yellow flip flop color. Yay! Uh, so that's what you can do with variables. Um, of course, you can change uh, any property. You cannot only change the brick color. Uh, you can also do it manually, of course. But uh, but yeah. Uh, if you want to change, for example, the transparency. If you want it to be um, like this. Uh, we don't need to make it ourselves. We can just do my part dot transparency is equal to the value. Uh, this is not, uh, for example, like uh, I don't know. Uh, it's not like false or true. It is a uh, number because, uh, for example, in the property, if we do uh, transparency and we put zero dot five. It will be like this, so yeah, it is a number basically. Transparency is a number, uh, uh, but um, cast shadow, for example, that property right here. Uh, in this case, um, it is if the cast shadow is enabled or not, so it will be false or true. Uh, so transparency 0.1. If we run the game, it will be. Uh, like this, it will be transparent. Uh, if you want to make fully invisible, just put one. Uh, as you can see, uh, like this. Boom. And that's completely transparent, you cannot see it. Um, I will also explain the can collide property and anchored property. Can collide, uh, it is. Uh, a bool value, so false and true. Um, can collide is whether you can touch it or not. Uh, if the can collide is false, then you will not be able to touch it. If it is true, you will be able to collide with it and have physics. Um, let, let's make a little test. So, if we uncheck that and play the game because we want the character to spawn. Uh, Oh, wait, I forgot something. I forgot. Yeah, uh, we can just hide that line for a second. Um, but if you wanna... If you wanna... Uh, make that line a note, just put two uh, dashes in front of the line. It will turn grey. And it will now run. So yeah, that's a little tip. Uh, and now, if we find the part... Oh, actually... Since it's uh, non can collide, it actually, f uh, it, f yeah, it fell off. So if we anchor it, anchor it is basically, uh, if it's anchored, uh, it will not have, uh, or if it's anchored, it will not fall. So it will stay in the air like this. But if it's not, it will just fall uh, with physics. So, uh, yeah. So let's anchor it, uh, so we can test the can collide function, and then we'll test out the uh, the anchored function. So as you can see, since the can collide is false, we can we cannot touch it. As you can see. Uh, so yeah. Now let's test the anchored function. Uh, if we make it uh, back to true, so they can call it to true. If we make the anchor to false, and if we drag the part up, if we run the game, it will fall, as you can see. But if it's anchored, it will not. It will just stay in the air, and it will never move. It is not able to move at all. So yeah, you yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's can collide and anchored. Uh, there's also uh, the size, of course, you can resize stuff. Um, in the property, uh, there's a size, um, well, property with three numbers. What these three numbers are is the first number, so if you click the arrow next to the size property, you can see there is a X, Y, and Z axis. These are axes, so if you change the Y, which is the height, if you change it to 5, it will be uh, higher. 
or tool it, sorry. If you change the X, which is, uh, I think it's left and right. So if you change it to like 10, uh, so yeah, so, uh, so that's the X and then the Z, uh, which is the length. Uh, if you change it to 10, it will be like this. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to resize it manually, of course, uh, it's like way easier. But I mean, if you want to be precise, then you can go with the numbers here. But uh, if you want to do it manually, it's like really easy. Uh, if you can, if you if you want to, for example, build a house, uh, it's pretty simple as you can see. And yeah, you gotta do it manually. Uh, because, uh, yeah. And there you go, you get a little house. Um, and if it's not anchored, make sure everything is anchored, because if it's not, it will just fall over like this. <laughs> and, yeah, it's not really nice to see, so you gotta anchor it. So, yeah, that is the size. Uh, there's also the position, which is, well, the position, I guess. If you change the X axis to like 30, it will move. Uh, the Y is the the heights again, of course. Uh, there's also the orientation. Um, the uh, so these are actually um, there's a, they're actually degrees. So like. For example, if you change the uh, Y axis to 90, it will turn at 90 degrees. Um, and you can do it manually either, of course. Uh. <coughs> uh, also, the reason why the, um, the, the Y axis on the orientation uh, makes it spin like this uh, well, it's pretty logic. If, for example, we have a bar like this and like that, uh, it will spin like this. And yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the orientation. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's also the reflect. The oh my god, I cannot talk right now. The uh, reflectance, it's how it reflects. So yeah, uh, <laughs> I put it to 10, but that's way too much. Uh, usually I put it to like 0 0.5 if you want to be realistic, or 1, um, if you want to make, I don't know, like a mirror, something like that, and it reflects the sky, beautiful. And of course when you put it to 0, it is completely non-reflective. Um, and yeah, that is uh, the variables and the printing. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.